subscribe to mark tutorial youtube channel and press this bell icon so you can stay updated with latest videos hello friends and welcome to this tutorial in which we will see the icici online payment integration and bank reconciliation registration process with mark erp for this very firstly we will come on banking to registration field and then enter on ICICI payment and reconciliation so a window of admin supervisor detail will be displayed where owner will fill all these fields for data security purpose or to save the data so that it doesn't get misused and this step is mandatory to fill the details as if someone takes the backup of the data and then restores it somewhere else or copy mark folder then with the help of this option the data will not get misused any kind of operations related to icici will not get executed so in case if any unknown user or unauthorized person visits to icici registration then the information will be sent to the admin or supervisor in form of an otp and admin or supervisor acknowledged that someone are trying to misuse their data so in order to fill this window we will click on edit and then click on save and register once the details are being filled a window of information updated successfully admin details on server will get displayed then we will click on ok now the icici registration window will get displayed as we are doing registration first time so we will click on add button from here here is youtube icon you can click on it and can see the icici registration video and this is admin id which will be created for every user by default then here first field is select icici bank the number of ledgers of bank accounts in your company will be shown here in drop down so we will select that bank from this drop down which we want to register then is icici account number here we will feed the account number and if account number is already added in the ledger then software will auto pick it and you can tick the mask value here and can view the value of account number that the account number which we are registering is right or not by default we have hide it which will be shown to you by the name of mask value and as you will tick this tick box then this will turn to show value then is icici corporate id enter the corporate id which is being provided through icici bank so here you will get two options already linked and new id if you know that the bank which is being selected in icici bank field is already linked with any corporate id then click on already link and from this drop down select that corporate id because i know that this account of mine is already linked with this corporate id which i have already registered once because i have to register only one time whether i have three accounts means i have three ledgers and linked with one corporate id so i will register once only else create a new id by clicking on new id and the benefit of this option is that that if we have two icici accounts that is one account is linked with the corporate id and another is sensitive in which all the funds are being kept and i don't want to transfer the funds from mark of this bank so we do not link it we will only link that account through which funds needs to be transferred then next is user id here you will feed user id then is icici login id as we used to log in on icici portal so we had to feed corporate id and user id both so icici bank has given the provision of icici login id which is created on the site of net banking only and this is one time process which is done at the time of registration this is an optional field whosoever has created this icici login id they can feed that alias id means icici login id in this icici login id field due to which there will be no need to feed corporate id and user id then save the details from here then after saving these fields now we will need to register for that we will click on save and register and as we will click on save and register these details will get uploaded on icici portal and we need to log in into icici portal and approve the registration process once the registration process is approved on icici portal by you then it will be finally approved by icici within few minutes here you will see that terms and condition field is shown to you 
and it's mandatory to read from here you can read all the terms and conditions and after completing the registration in order to visit to ICICI portal we will click on registration navigation process from here then a window of registration approval navigation will be displayed where the whole process is shown like to complete the registration customer has to log in to ICICI bank CIB portal and then you will see the shortcuts like CIB login pending on me then connected banking approval then mark then approve and then confirm and here we can click on go to ICICI login page and can directly switch to the ICICI portal so an ICICI login window will appear in front of you like from here we will log in with the password and then we will click on proceed then click on pending on me then from here click on connected banking approval then click on ok and then confirm it then click on done and as we have told you that once the registration is completed from your side and you have approved this on ICICI portal so your registration will be approved by ICICI within few minutes so you can check that status by clicking on check registration status field from here and if a message of no information or no approval received will be shown to you so it means bank has not given approval till yet and when there will be an approval from the bank then a message will be shown to you registration successful and in this way your registration process will be completed check validity suppose if you are finding any discrepancy from here means on which system you have registered from ICICI now you have restored the data in any other system and if you are unable to do any of the activity related to ICICI bank and if a message of non-availability detail or similar error message is shown to you then you can check these details through this field which you have filled at the time of registration then from this modify admin details field you can modify the admin details which you have feeded and from here you can check your account number then is restore my registration means if you are working on one system on which you are registered with ICICI and you have to log in on another computer then you will click on this restore my registration button so you will receive one OTP to which you can feed and switch the system through which you will be log out from main system and you will log in in that system where your details will be restored and one thing you will take care of that operations can be done once in one computer the ICICI operations cannot be done on multiple companies or multiple PCs this is a security check which is done by mark now we will come to the main window once the registration process is completed then we can further do the process like payment schedule payments payment history bank reconciliation online statement etc mark has initiated the process of maker and checker in this module that is the admin or supervisor will permit for the process of fund transfer to the user but that user will not be able to do the actual payment as those payments will get scheduled and it can be only done by the checker now let's do online payment for which we will click on payment field select the ledger to whom the online payment needs to be done enter the amount and here that bank will appear through which we can do the payment if the account number is not stored in the beneficiary's ledger then this alert message will appear on the screen that beneficiary bank account number is blank wish to enter details and if the account holder name is not stored in the beneficiary's ledger so this kind of alert message will appear on the screen that beneficiary account holder name is blank wish to enter details so click on yes because we have not mentioned the account number here so until you will mention the account number software will not initiate the payment so we will mention the account number here and here is the button of get balance on which you can click and can see the current balance in bank account then mention the IFSC code and feed the pay name and after this your cursor will switch on to the payment mode where software will ask you for the mode of payment that through which mode you want to do the payment like through IMPS, NEFT or RTGS or in own to own account it means any of ICICI linked account and ICICI to ICICI means payment to external ICICI account 
and if there are multiple banks of beneficiary then from the bank name field drop down you can select that bank in which bank account the payee wants the payment so as you will change the bank name then here fee details will also be changed so from here you have to click on bank details are okay only then you will be able to proceed further then read terms and conditions from here the protocol means the rules which you have set will be applied here and there is nothing in it that mark software has changed the rules which are in net banking will be shown to you or will be applied after this click on initialize payment so this message will appear that are you sure to make payment of this particular amount through this payment mode of this account number and ifsc so click on yes so you will receive an otp and otp is mandatory to fill at the time of payment payment process will not be completed without otp and you will receive this otp on your dat mobile number which is registered in your bank after filling the otp we will click on make payment button from here so payment process will be completed and you will receive the message of payment successful and if bank will not be able to transfer your payment successfully then the error message like this will be sent to you in this there is one more option we will enter on payment option again and here we will mention the date and if this date is of future so software will take it in schedule payment so this window of online fund transfer will be open where you will see that schedule payment field is showing you in red color and it is indicating you that this payment have not made yet it's been scheduled for future and software will not ask you for otp pin in it and from payment mode you will select the mode of payment in which you want to do the payment so software will save all these details in its record and it will be reflected to you in the module of scheduled payment and that will be done through scheduled payment in which from the drop down first select the bank and account number will be picked by software automatically and in date you will mention that date till you want to see the scheduled payment so in this way here party's name and amount will be there then click on okay and select from here that the payment which you want to initiate as you can see on the screen software is showing that like this account number and of this ifsc code 12000 payment of this date is been due and if you will click on initiate payment from here then for the first time software will ask otp from you and then here instead of initiate payment an option of make payment will be there once we will do the make payment then your payment will be done then is payment history from this option you can see pending and successful payment altogether means which are our payments are pending and which are successfully done means from our side it is transferred and credited in beneficiary account then you can see from successful payments and pending means payment is done from our side but it is pending from party means payment has not been received to party hand next is bank reconciliation and from this option you can do bank reconciliation means software will ask you the bank name and in up to date till which date you want to reconcile mention that date here and we will click on okay then this kind of screen will be open in front of you this is my icici marks ledger and this is bank statement you can see this is shown in red color means this is non reconciled because there is no clearing date in it you can see we have deposited 5000 on date second but when bank has cleared that payment it is not shown similarly you will see here we have deposited check on date 7 of this amount which is shown pending in the status if we will click on reconcile so on the basis of this voucher narration and this description in statement you will see the check number is here in narration there is no zero digit and in description there is zero digit so software is doing tally the amount of both on the basis of it on the basis of it software is telling the entries are reconciling simultaneously with each other and those which are not reconciling are shown below are in marks ledger and in statement as you can see here are few entries and you want that software will show its intelligence by auto reconciling these entries so what software did here the four entries are reconciling as you can see in date in books as well it's a date 2 and in statement as well there is a date 2 normally there cannot be a date before that suppose we have given any check 
so either it will get clear today or after and these are those entries which are not reconciled till yet which are in our mark erp books and here in details in bank statement there are entries which are in statement but are not reconciled now what we will do now suppose here in mark erp books there is a date 7 serial number 3 is shown and here in bank detail statement there are two entries of 2000 but you know that the serial number 3 belongs to the reference of this statement so you will select it 3 from here and similarly you know that serial number 6 belongs to this so here we will select 6 then click on update so a window of are you sure to save the changes in books will be displayed in front of you click on yes to save it so in this way software will show you an alert message that the number of entries are updated yet as you will click on okay you will see these entries in green color means these entries are updated and reconciled and the entries are shown to you in red color are not updated till yet means these are not reconciled so the entries which are in red color let's update them and reconcile them so we will click on pending in this way software will show you pending entries now software is asking you that against which ledger you want to put these pending entries now suppose it's an entry of interest firstly we have to do its entry in mark so for this from here we will select ledger we have selected bank and ledger so you will see bank charges will be there in entry against ledger then click on add to books from here so into mark books our entry will be saved then we will do yes on wish to save changes and come to the main window then come to online statement option where you will select the bank and mention the date here from when to which date you want to see the statement and this is only bank statement from the side of bank there is no link with mark book then from transaction field you will select that you want to see all transactions or deposit transaction if you will select all then bank statement like this will be open in front of you and if you want to see deposit transactions then you will select deposit here then in filter on field you will see few options are shown in drop down from here you can set filter that till what amount you want to see the deposit transaction like we want to see deposit of greater than 2000 so for that we'll set deposit in transaction and greater than in filter on and in amount field we will mention 2000 so in this way software will show deposit transaction to you now we will come to the main window and then from apply for loans field we will apply for loans as you will click on this option then this page will be open in front of you this is basically to apply loan you will fill the details then icici team will contact you on their own for loan so friends We have seen in this video that how we can do the ICICI online payment integration and bank reconciliation registration process in Mark ERP. Thanks for watching.